Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dedicated Dentist 32 Reasons Why. Today's topic is temporization in FPD. Well, it is also called as interim provisional treatment or prosthesis. So it's the temporary rest when we are giving patient an FPD a definitive restoration. Before that, we give a temporary restoration in case there are some difficulties or some technical issues. So for the time being, we give a temporary restoration. So as per the definition, it's a fixed or removable prosthesis designed to enhance aesthetic stabilization and function for a limited period of time after which it is to be replaced by definitive prosthesis. So you should mention all the techniques that is direct, indirect and third one the combination of the above two direct indirect technique. Direct done is done intra orally. In the indirect technique we have a cast. We are doing the tooth preparation on a cast okay, for the abatments and then a combination of it. Well the indirect technique is considered more accurate because it has better marginal fit. In the direct technique, we are doing it directly on the prepared to, uh, teeth, okay? Because uh, when we have this uh, preformed crown, okay? Then we are filling it with the autopolymerizing acrylic. And then we are seating it on the prepared tooth. Now, we have to remove it before polymerization. Because then there will be shrinkage. And then it will engage in its undercut. And the disengaging will be difficult, okay? Also, the marginal fit here is less. And also, when it sets during polymerization, there is exothermic reaction going on due to which that leads to... Uh, due to which there is thermal injury to the pulp. This can be also asked in viva. Now, why do we need to give a provisional restoration before a definitive restoration? Why can't we wait? Because if we wait, then that will lead to bad oral hygiene. We want to protect the pulp and periodontium. We want to protect teeth from caries. Uh, you cannot, we cannot just keep space for the pontic and leave, it, leave the abutment, prepared abutment as it is. We cannot do that. We want to provide comfort and function. Evaluate. We can also evaluate parallelism of the abutment. We can prevent migration of teeth. You know, uh, there means when uh, there is a missing tooth the mesial drifting of the teeth takes place also to improve aesthetics this also prevents supra eruption of teeth you know whenever a tooth is missing in a particular arch uh, there will be supra eruption of teeth in the opposing arch you know that's a mechanism that we call dental alveolar compensation to prevent that this will reinforce patient's oral hygiene we can also evaluate the vertical dimension and can determine the prognosis of the questionable abutments so coming to this direct technique, we have this prepared tooth. We measure, uh, with the help of divider, we measure its mesiodistal and incisal to cervical width. And then we select a preformed crown. Then we reduce the cervical portion and not the incisal aspect to adjust the height accordingly. As per the adjacent teeth, then we apply Vaseline to the adjacent areas gingiva to prevent irritation from the monomers. Now that selected or preformed crown, it is trimmed and the trim crown is filled with autopolymerizing acrylic and then seated on the prepared tool. Okay, so now um, that was all about it. We have preformed crown. Okay, we get those crown and we just have to trim it from the cervical portion and fix it. This is the second direct technique. Here we make use of an index. The teeth to be tooth to be replaced, that is, is restored with wax. Okay, this is one method. If we have to replace a tooth, we wax up. We use artificial denture teeth that we use to do the uh, teeth setting. We use them and we wax it the up. That is, we use this modeling wax and then attach to them. Then we make a putty. Okay, and there are videos on YouTube on how to make a putty. So we make a putty and then we make an impression with a hydrocolide, irreversible or alginate. And then, then indexes meet now we get a putty and an impression of all teeth including the missing because we have placed that uh, artificial teeth on that missing pla uh, teeth place okay so now we get impression of all those teeth now we are going to pour in it the auto polymerizing resin that is bisacral composite and pour in that in the putty index on the teeth to be replaced and position in the patient mouth now we remove this after it sets or polymerizes we remove it then we get a provisional prosthesis and it is trimmed and cemented now say if the patient has a pre-existing denture okay uh, if he has an rpd so now we are going to wax up you can see this diagram uh, we can either wax it up that we discussed already or use a pre-existing rpd on the cast now again we take an impression we make a putty with pre-existing rpd in mouth right you see this uh, yellow colored is with the putty we have and then rpd is still in place now the teeth adjacent teeth are prepared which are the abutments then separating media is applied now we take this putty and with the rpd tooth still in place okay we remove the denture but we still have that rpd tooth in okay now we are going to pour the resin 
Now this index with the resin inside it is seated in the mouth and allowed to send. Now we get a provisional processes again which is trimmed and cemented. You see the RPD tooth is still in place whereas the adjacent abutment teeth they are the resin teeth that have been set and trimmed. If we do not have pre-existing RPD then the, we have to take an impression and pour a diagnostic cast and on that we have to wax up the teeth again the artificial density we have to wax them up then with the help of uh, then again the index is made uh, then with the uh, irreversible hydrocolloid or alginate of the tooth to be replaced on the cast. Now we move on to the indirect method. Now there is this indirect technique here we are using a template we get a diagnostic cast. Then we place the artificial teeth on this cast uh, with the putty and not with the wax. We are not going to wax up because we are using a thermoforming machine that will sag the uh, splint material, heated material onto the cast. So that will displace teeth. That is why. Now we place the splint material in this machine you see and then turn on the heating element. Now this material, the splint material, it will sag from this machine onto the cast and now we get a template. You see in the image E tooth preparation is being done and again the cast is poured of the prepared teeth abutment teeth right now this template we got it adapted over this cast with the prepared teeth to check the fit and then artificial teeth are removed and template is adapted filled with provisional restoration acrylic raising material and position on the cast this template is now secured with the cast with the help of rubber bands then after polymerization is complete the provisional we got is removed it is trimmed and contoured and cemented using a temporary uh, cement bin if in case still you didn't understand this, uh, I'll mention a link below in the description box of uh, the Sir Luke. He's an amazing technician and he has beautiful videos on Prosto. You can check him out. So yeah. Coming on to the last technique, direct and indirect technique or combination of two. Now here we take a diagnostic impression and uh, before tooth preparation is done, then we get a cast. Now the missing tooth is again waxed up. Uh, with the acrylic denture teeth then putty is made uh, then the artificial teeth they are removed and then abutment is prepared on the cast earlier we were preparing abutments inside intraorally but here we are preparing abutment on the cast the preparation is minimum that it is intended for the mouth it is minimum than the mouth preparation then the autopolymerizing resin is poured in putty then separating media is applied on the cast putty index is secured with the bands and then provisional we get is trimmed contoured and seated now this is pre uh, fabricated before abutment teeth are prepared into the patient's mouth. Abutment teeth they are prepared in patient's mouth in uh, to its final stage. You can see this uh, diagrams and maybe understand it better. So we have a cast with missing teeth and then we are going to replace these teeth with the artificial or denture teeth. We are going to wax them up. Then we make a putty. Then we take an impression. Then we remove those artificial teeth and we prepare the tooth or abutments. Now we pour this putty with the resin, fourth image, and then in fifth we secure this putty onto the cast with the help of uh, with the help of elastics. Then in the sixth we get the provisional restoration. Then we trim them, polish them, contour them, and then place them in mouth and we get them. So that was all about temporization. Uh, I hope you understand it. The notes will be updated on my blog. Thank you.